So today we're doing a tech cafe and we do them every Friday morning here in Oppenheimer and we've done them for about a year and a bit and so basically what we're doing is just setting up. We have uh, a number of individuals who have some sort of tech skills or can help people and so what we're doing is helping people with their phones or helping them with computer problems they might be having. So in one case, I think you may have heard we're trying to help somebody get back into their iCloud because their phone disappeared and they need to recuperate their data and contacts and stuff. Um, sometimes it's helping people create a website. So we've had some artists who are in the neighborhood who want to create websites, but they don't have a lot of knowledge about how to do that. So we'll help them set that up and run a website with them to show off their artwork or sell their artwork. I think, you know, one of the things that happens a lot is that technology changes rapidly. And you and I have the ability to kind of go to places and take a class or take a workshop or, you know, to go online and do some of those things to learn about the new technology. But for folks who are in communities like this, they don't have those opportunities. And, you know, for us, technology is a bit of a luxury, but for a lot of people in communities like this, it's a lifeline. So, you know, they can't make phone calls to secure housing or to find a job or all kinds of things um, that we can do with our technology. And it's also, you know, if you're trying to find when something's open or when it's not, those kinds of things. So it's giving people the skills to be able to participate in, kind of fully participate in society is really, uh, I think, beneficial to them. And a lot of stuff, I guess one of the other things is a lot of stuff is now online. So e-governance, you know, uh, welfare is online, the forms for welfare, EI, a uh, whole bunch of other things are all online. And the only way you can access them is to go online. And how do you access those kind of vital resources if you can't go online, you don't know how to use a computer or you don't have access to a computer.